Alright guys, so I know I'm a little late with this, but let's go over the new Football Outsiders cards. Um, I had this recorded yesterday, but my audio screwed up. It didn't record my audio, so that's what we're going to do today. So let's go ahead and record this. I actually have two of the players. You guys, I bought a Quandre Diggs, and I pulled a Daryl Williams, I guess. I don't know when I did that, but it must have been during the bundle opening, because I haven't opened any other packs except then. So, if I got it somewhere else, I have no idea where I got it. But there's also Chris Conley and Eli Harold. But let's take a look first at these sleeper list collectibles. They don't go for too much, but they go for about 7k a piece, bringing it up to about 35k to do. Or actually, not it's six, so it'd be 42. Yeah, my my yeah my math's correct. I always when I do math in videos, I always like second guess myself because I'm like oh, I'm gonna look like an idiot if I did the math wrong, but I always do it right. But that's forty two thousand. Let's go ahead and take a look at Eli Harold. I'm actually gonna throw this Daryl Williams in because I'll probably end up doing this collection in a video. So let's just go ahead and throw him in. Uh, and let's take a look at the price of these. If they're cheap enough, I'll just buy. Okay, Eli Harold is eighteen hundred. So we're gonna buy him. And throw him into the set but he has 86 speed 82 strength 87 excel 82 tackle 76 play recognition 83 block shed 85 pursuit and 86 pow power move or no that's hit power. that's hit power i'm stupid that's hit power uh let's see here what are his zone and man let's see here man yeah below average zone and man for a right outside linebacker, but for a 79 overall, I'm not sure how many people will be using Eli Harold, except for those that uh, are 49ers fans. So let's actually just go about it this way, because I know the rest of it. So get rid of the chemistry. It makes it difficult to show you guys when I don't, when I have some of the cards. Let's go football outsiders. Buy it now price. Alright, so... Daryl Williams is going for like 16k or 1600 coins. He's 88 strength, 85 run block, 81 pass block, 81 impact blocking, uh, 79 awareness, 80 stamina, 66 speed, and 60 agility. So once again, just another card, 78 overall. Not sure anybody needs that or is going to use it, but it is a decent card for the for the uh, for the price and the overall. Next is this Chris Conley at 81 overall. He's like a mini Julio for this game. Um, not a mini Julio, that's not the proper term. He's like a budget Julio. There we go, budget Julio. So I'll actually just compare him for you guys because I have Julio. So he's faster than Julio. He's three speed faster, but obviously Julio is better in everything else except jumping. Chris Conley's got one better jumping. Jumping. Uh, but Conley has 91 speed, 83 catch, 70 elusiveness, 85 spec catch, 83 release, 77 route running, 88 catch in traffic, and 92 jumping. So not a bad card at all, especially for an 81 overall. The salary cap is really high on this Chris Conley, uh, so you definitely wouldn't want to use this Chris Conley in salary cap games. But it is a pretty good card, and we're going to end up picking him up too right now. Who bought the one for 5,800 when there's one for 56 right here? Bro, I see that way too often when people just buy the more expensive card. Like, are you, do you not pay attention? And then finally we have the card that I bought, which is Quandary Diggs. I guess this isn't the final one because we do have, we do have the uh, Elite, the Thomas Brawl. So Quandary Diggs going for 3,000 coins. He's got 87 speed, 86 excel, 86 agility, 84 man, 87 zone, 76 press, 83 play rec, and 69 catching. Really low catching. He plays, I think, at a 79 at free safety. Uh, he has really good safety sets at 87 speed, and the man and zone are really nice for for a safety. So you definitely can throw this guy in and for safety. Um, I was using him in a salary cap game. Uh, earlier, or I was having, I had him in my lineup earlier until I freed up a few extra dollars to go up uh, from him, but he is a really solid card. Uh, definitely going to be making my budget squad. I'm making a budget team right now. We sh I'll have that out uh, in the coming while, but he's on the budget team. And finally, let's go ahead and take a look at the Thomas Rawls. Rawls going for 58,000 coins. 
this makes no sense because I can get that set done for 42 thousand more coins so I guess we'll do that in this video because I will make some by the time if I sell it for 57 that's 5700 less it's like 51,000 I would make minimal coins off of it okay I will I will work on sniping those collectibles and then I'll throw like I did I'll throw a couple of collections into a video with some music and that'll be the Thomas Rawls but let's take a look at the Thomas Rawls of stats he's an 80 86 overall halfback and he has 89 speed, 85 agility, 80 acceleration, 90 carry, 91 ball carrier vision, 80 elusiveness, 91 trucking, and 88 juke move. Let's take a look at his catching. Uh, 68 catching, so not going to be one of your backs that you have receiving the ball out of the backfield. So keep that in mind. Decent jumping, so he could go up for a little bit of a jump ball. He's got good uh, stiff arm and spin to go along with the juke move. Impact blocking is low, so I'm not sure you want to keep him in on blocking downs. Yeah, his blocking is pretty bad. 60 passes, I guess is a little bit below average for a running back, but not horrible. Uh, but that is the Football Outsiders, guys. Uh, keep uh, Stay tuned. There will be at least one more video today, if not two. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.